According to the law of moments, if an object is in equilibrium, then the moment of a force about an axis is equal to the sum of moment of its components about the same axis. Basically, this describes how a lever will rotate about a fixed point depending on the force applied to it and the distance of the force from the axis. If the lever is in equilibrium, this means that it is balanced. A lever is a beam connected to ground by a hinge or pivot called a fulcrum and is an object that is used to transfer force. Levers are very common in everyday life. Some examples of different types of levers are wheelbarrows, scissors and seesaws. Some things that are common to every lever are the applied force, which is the force you use to move the lever, the load, which is a force that must be overcome by the lever, and the fulcrum, which is the point around which the lever rotates. Where these three features of a lever are situated in relation to each other determines what type of lever you have and what it can do. The law of moments uses the formula moment equals force by perpendicular distance from the pivot. Mathematically, this is expressed by m equals fd, where f is the force, d is the perpendicular distance between the force and the fulcrum, and m is the turning point known as the moment or torque. In this way, levers can be used to move heavy loads by using a long distance on the other side of the fulcrum, requiring less force to be applied. The fulcrum is placed close to the load. You have the mechanical advantage now as the force you apply gets multiplied by the larger distance. The closer the fulcrum is to the load, the less force is required to move it. I will now explain how to carry out an experiment to prove the law of moments on a meter stick using weights as the turning force. Apparatus you will need include a spring balance, weights and a meter stick. To start this experiment, set up the apparatus as shown. The spring balance should be in the centre of the meter stick as it will act as the fulcrum and will not be included as a force. Give the meter stick time to settle. When it's in equilibrium, place one weight on the right hand side of the balance about halfway up the meter stick. Then take another weight, whose mass is unknown, and place it on the other side of the spring balance. Move this up and down until the stick is back in its equilibrium position. When this is done, measure the lengths out to both weights from the spring balance. Because the meter stick is balanced, the moment of force should be equal on both sides. Therefore, the only number missing is the mass of the second weight. To get the clockwise force, multiply distance 1 by the mass of the weight. As this should be equal to the anti-clockwise force, you need to simply divide this number by 2 to get the mass of the second weight. There are a number of precautions you will need to take when carrying out this experiment. The meter stick should be completely balanced before applying any weights to it. The weights should be placed lightly on the lever to avoid it moving too much. The weights should not be kept over the lever for a long time as the spring may get deformed. Try out our interactive simulation below to test your knowledge of moments.